Thank you to Beam for sponsoring. More on them later. Join me for a few beautiful days at home, full of celebration, relaxation, and nourishing living. to the Daily Connoisseur. Our days this time of year are so full. We have birthdays, end of the school year activities, and so much more. I'm being more conscious about fitting in time for myself so I can feel good through all these moments. I've shared various aspects of my fitness routine with you over the past few months. I mix it up a bit between rebounding, doing exercise classes on YouTube or my FitTrack app, swimming, and walking. Tonight, I'm going for a walk. My sneakers are from Vivaya. I have a few other pairs of their shoes and I love how comfortable they are. They're made from recycled materials and are machine washable too. I have a discount code for them, so I'll leave that down below. Early evening is my favorite time of day to walk because the Southern California heat has subsided a bit and it's like all of nature is settling down for the night. There's a quieter energy. Walking can be such a meditative activity and that's why I like it. I do like to walk, however, at a really fast pace though, which the rest of my family doesn't, but the cobblestones do slow me down. I'm going to show you one of my favorite lunches. I shared this recently in one of my What I Eat in a Day videos. It's a simple salmon salad. I will often bake a batch of salmon for the week and then include it in salads or make salmon cakes out of them. I simply roast them with olive oil, salt, and pepper. Sometimes I'll put slices of lemon on top. Usually it's 400 degrees Fahrenheit for around 20 minutes. Here, I was short on time, so I assembled a pre-bought salad from the grocery store to make it easy. I added sliced avocado, the roasted salmon, and some of these date glazed cashews that add a crunch and a sweetness without the added sugar, which is what I like. Then I melt some butter and lemon juice and drizzle on top of the salmon. I'm also eating this with a small slice of baguette with butter. This lunch is so satisfying. And then you'll recall from that video that we enjoyed coconut caramel sundaes for dessert. To make those, I scoop some vanilla ice cream in these dessert dishes and top them with hot caramel sauce. And these delicious coconut cookies from the grocery store. The 
key for me is making this look nice. It's half the fun of eating dessert in the first place. When it looks like a delightfully decadent treat, I enjoy it even more. I'm going to take a minute to tell you about Beam, who have kindly sponsored today's video. Beam Dream helps you fall asleep, stay asleep, and wake up feeling refreshed, not groggy like other sleep products. They contain sleep promoting ingredients such as nano CBD with no THC, reishi mushroom extract, magnesium, L theanine, and melatonin. Beam has a new flavor, chocolate peanut butter. Wow, this one tastes exactly like a chocolate peanut butter cup. So if you like that flavor, you would love this drink. I've tried almost every flavor now, and this one is right up there for me with the chocolate raspberry and the original flavor. You simply mix it with hot water or milk and drink 30 minutes before bed on nights when you feel like you need to relax and wind down. I'm such a big fan of the Beam Dream Powder. I do drink it at least a few nights a week, usually on the days when I'm not fasting. When I drink it, I get the best night's sleep, like a comfortable, deep sleep. So click my link and use my code Jennifer to get 35% off your first order when you subscribe and then 20% off all following orders. Plus, when you subscribe to Dream Powder, you will receive a free frother with your first order. You can pause, skip, or cancel anytime so there's no risk. Today we're celebrating our daughter's birthday. As the kids get older, it's so fun to collaborate on their birthdays and how we celebrate them. My favorite question for them is always, what would you like for your cake? This year, my daughter wanted Beard Papa's, which is a local Eclair cream puff bakery. We ordered some standard vanilla cream puffs, but also some unusual ones like green tea, strawberry, Oreo, and ube, which is purple yam. That's the one I chose. It was so good. She also wanted sushi for lunch, so that's what we had, and here it is, straight from a local restaurant. What a fun day. Later that afternoon, when things calmed down, Ben and I filmed our Royal Coronation Special for channel memberships. So if you're interested in joining the Sheik Society, I'll leave the link down below, or you can click the Join button. Did you watch the coronation? I didn't celebrate with a party, but I did enjoy this rather rare coronation macaron from La Durée that Ben picked up for me while he was in England. This was almost too pretty to eat. Almost. I'm going to share one of my favorite rituals with you gathering roses at twilight. Our roses have been so prolific this season. I either cut them for bouquets in the early morning or later in the day. I try to avoid clipping them in the middle of the day to avoid the heat. Today I'm choosing flowers from this magnificent rose bush. It's monstrous. This is the one that I planted last year from planting tree. It took off big time. It's what a long stemmed rose bush looks like, apparently, because I've never grown one before. I like to think of some of those rose meditations I shared with you when picking roses. Here's another one. A rose does not lose sleep because it was mocked by weeds. That quote is by Matshona Diliweo. I love this. Never allow the mockery of others to cause you to lose sleep. Keep being a rose. That's a good one to teach our kids too.
I played around a bit with this bouquet and I thought to combine them with jasmine, but in the end, I went with an all rose bouquet in a smaller vase. I knew that as the roses opened, this arrangement would look more and more beautiful throughout the week. Isn't it splendid? I'm reading from this biography on E.F. Benson, my favorite author. He wrote the Map and Lucia series that I love so much. What an enigmatic and mysterious person he was. I've been finding lately that I enjoy biographies of all my favorite people from the past more than I enjoy any other type of novel. This past year I've read about Beatrix Potter, Frances Hodgson Burnett, Lewis Carroll, and so many others that I admire. Their lives are even more fascinating to me than their books. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you to Beam for sponsoring. Don't forget to click my link and use code Jennifer to get 35% off your first order when you subscribe and then 20% off all following orders. Plus, when you subscribe to Dream Powder, you will receive a free frother with your first order. You can pause, skip, or cancel anytime so there's no risk. Thank you for joining me today, everyone. I would love to know how you are spending your days at home. In the meantime, keep calm and remain classy, and I will see you in my next video. Love, Jennifer. Thank you.